Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss how to write a Python program to verify given number is pronic number or not. If you want to write a Python program to verify it is a pronic number or not, first you should know what is a pronic number. A pronic number is a number that is the product of two conjugative integers. If I have a given number, that given number I can represent in the product of two consecutive integers, such kind of number I can call it as a pronic number. Let me give an example for pronic number. Suppose let's take that 6. 6 I can represent it as 2 into 3, where 2 and 3 are two consecutive integers. Similarly, if I take 20, 20 I can represent it as 4 into 5. Similarly, 12 I can represent it as 3 into 4. Okay, 3 into 4 I can represent it as 12. Okay, similarly, if I take 42, 42 I can represent it as two conjugative numbers products such as 6 into 7. 6 into 7 is 42. So I can say 42 is a pronic number. Now you can ask me, sir, what are the examples of stating that the given number is not a pronic number. Suppose let's take the 10. 10 you can represent it as 1 into 10. Similarly, you can represent it as 2 into 5. Similarly, 5 into 2 you will represent or 10 into 1 you will represent. Now, if you see 1 and 10 are not conjugative integers. Similarly, 2 and 5, 5 and 2, 10 and 1 are not conjugative integers. So, I can say 10 is a not a conjugate number. I hope you are able to understand what is a pronic number and what is a not a pronic number. With this definition and explanation, let me write the Python program. So first what I will do is that I will take the input from the user and I will use the input method. And you know that input method will return everything in the form of a a string so I want to convert into an integer so that's why I'm doing the type casting so input enter the number okay once the user has entered the number let me take some flag value so flag variable I will take and I will initialize to 0 and I will write for loop for i in range I will start from 1 and I will go up to n plus 1 and then I will write a condition if i into i plus 1 i into i plus 1 is equal to is equal to given number then I will say flag is equal to 1 and I will write the break statement at the end of the for loop I will write if flag is equal to is equal to 1 then I will say print n is a chronic number is a chronic number else if it is not a chronic number i want to display the statement as print n is not a is not a chronic number let me write it properly okay so now we are done with the program now what i will do is that i will take a, some sample input and i will verify it just now we have theoretically explained that 6 is a pronic number. Now see what will happen. Yes, we got the output as 6 is a pronic number. Similarly, I will take 42. We will verify whether 42 is pronic number or not. Theoretically, we have discussed that 42 can be represented as 6 into 7. So we are 6 and 7 are conjugate integers. So I can say 42 is a pronic number. Similarly, when we said 10, 10 is not a pronic number okay see we got the 10 is not a pronic number similarly let me take 20 20 we will get it as a pronic number see what will happen let me discuss it n value i will take it as 6 okay the user has entered the n value is 6 okay and just now we have discussed that 6 is a pronic number now see how it will be happening so flag initially i have taken it as 0 which is a variable Okay, then for i in range 1 comma n plus 1, you will have a start which is equal to 1 and you will have the stop which is n plus 1 which is nothing but 6 plus 1 is 7 and the step value is the default value 1. So a range will take three things, one is start, stop and step. As they have mentioned two values, 
these are the start value and the stop value and the default step value is 1 then i initial value will be start value which is 1 and i should be less than stop okay look at here what is the i value 1 what is the stop value 7 so 1 is less than 7 yes the condition is true if the condition is true the statements which are there in the for loop will be executed what is the first statement in the for loop if condition is there what is that condition i into i plus 1 what is the i value currently 1 1 plus 1 will be 2 so i into i plus 1 which is 1 into 2 is equal to equal to n no 2 is not equal to 6 so the condition is false if the if condition is false there are statements which are there in the if block will not be executed then after that there are no more statements then control will go to the iteration so what is the current i value i value is 1 what is the step value 1 so i value will become 2 because the i value should be incremented by step value so here step value is 1 so you need to increment the i value by 1 so already i value is 1 so 1 plus 1 i value will become 2 then you will verify the condition what is the condition i should be less than stop what is the i value 2 what is the stop value 7 2 is less than 7 yes the condition is true if the condition is true again the statements which are there in the for loop will be executed what is the first statement you have a if condition what is the condition is saying i into i plus 1 what is the i value 2 okay so 2 into 2 plus 1 which is 3 2 into 3 is how much 6 6 is equal to 6 yes the condition is true because 6 is equal to 6 so the condition is true if the condition is true the statements which are there in the if block will be executed so flag is equal to 1 previously flag value is 0 now it is updated to 1 and break statement what is the purpose of the break the purpose of the break is useful for you to come out from the loop so once the break statement is used you will come out from the loop what is the next statement after the for loop there is an if condition what is the if condition is saying flag is equal to is equal to 1 what is the flag value 1 is 1 is equal to 1 yes the condition is true if the condition is true the statements which are there in this if block will be executed so you will get 6 is a pronic number okay similarly what i will do i will take the n value is 20 okay or let me take n value is equal to 8 see what will be the 8 value 8 cannot be represented as a consecutive product of two consecutive numbers see i can get the output as 8 is a not a pronic number see how it will work n is equal to 8 so flag initial value is 0 for i in range 1 comma n plus 1 so stop value will become 9 step value default value is 1 i value initial start value is 1 i should be less than stop so 1 is less than 9 so the condition is true if the condition is true the statements which are there in the for loop will be executed which is i into i plus 1 what is the i value 1 i plus 1 is 2 so 1 is equal 1 into 2 is equal to is equal to 9 no 2 is not equal to 9 so the condition is false if the condition is false the statements which are there in the if block will not be executed then again the iteration will be happening so i value is 1 step value is 1 so i value will become 2 i should be less than stop what is the i value 2 2 is less than 9 yes the condition is true if the if can if the for loop condition is true then the statements which are there in the for loop will be executed what is the statement is there if condition so what is the condition i into i plus 1 i value is currently 2 2 plus 1 is 3 so 2 into 3 is how much 6 is 6 is equal to is equal to 9 condition is false if the condition is false these statements will not be executed after that there are no other statements in the for loop so the control will go to the iteration i value is currently 2 and step value is 1 so i value will become 3 i less than stop 3 is less than 9 the condition is true then again the statement will be executed i into i plus 1 what is the i value 3 3 plus 1 is 4 so 3 into 4 is how much 12 is 12 is equal to is equal to 9 the condition is false again i value will be incremented by 1 so i value will become 4 i less than stop 4 is less than 9 condition is true then you will verify this if block 
what is this if condition i i value is how much 4 i plus 1 5 4 into 5 is how much 20 is 20 is equal to is equal to 9 the condition is false if the condition is false the control will go to the iteration i value will become 5 5 is less than 9 the condition is true so i into i plus 1 which is 5 into 6 which is equal to 30 30 is equal to equal to 9 the condition is false if the condition is false the statements which are there in the if block will not be executed after that for loop there are no statements the control will go to the iteration i value will become 6 6 is less than 9 the condition is true i into i plus 1 which is 6 into 7 is equal to 42 42 is equal to equal to 9 condition is false then i value will become 7 7 is less than 9 condition is true so then what will happen 7 into 8 which is 56 56 is not equal to 9 again the if block condition is false the statements which are there in the if block will not be executed then i value will be again incremented by 1 so i value will become 8 8 is less than 9 condition is true then you will verify this if condition i into which is 8 into 8 plus 1 which is 9 8 into 9 how much 72 is 72 is equal to is equal to 9 the condition is false then i value will be again incremented by 1 now i value will become 9 is 9 is less than 9 no the condition is false because 9 is equal to 9 if the for loop condition is false the statements which are there in the for loop will not be executed the next statement after the for loop will be executed what is that one if condition what is the condition flag is equal to is equal to 1 what is the flag value flag value is currently 0 is 0 is equal to equal to 1 no the condition is false if the condition is false the statements which are there in the else block will be executed so you are getting the output as 8 is not a chronic number i hope you have understood how to write a python program to verify a given number is chronic number or not if you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.